So today we're going to write a series of iterator functions for trees, a breadth-first approach and a depth-first approach. Um, both of these functions are going to take a node and a callback function. It's going to execute that callback function on the node and all of its children. And the only real difference between the two of them is the order that does these things in. So a breadth-first approach with this particular tree, we gave it um, the node A, it would execute a callback on A, then B, then C, then D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Breadth first. So let's see what we can do here. Breadth first is again going to take a node and it's going to take a callback. And what do we do here? Well, this would be a good place to use a queue. We can uh, start with a queue of the node, shift something off of it, uh, execute the callback function on that, and then push in all of that node's children to the queue. So what would that look like? Well, we would uh, say queue is the node in an array. And we'll have a while loop, like while we have this queue, while Q, um, we'll say our current node is being shifted off of the queue. So we'll say current node is the queue shifted. And let's we'll keep the callback on that current node. So we'll say callback current node. And then we'll push all of the current node's children into the queue. So we'll, we'll do a queue, Q-U-E, push um, current node dot children. And that would be a solution for a breadth first. Now, if we wanted to do depth first, what would that look like? Well, we can execute the callback here, then go down to B, E, K, then L, then C, F, G, H, M, and then D, I, J. So we go down as far as we can, then go back up, then down, then back up, and then down. Um, so let's see how we can do that. That would be a depth first. And that's also going to take a node in a callback. And what do we need to do here? Um, so first thing we were doing was executing a callback on the given node. So we'll say uh, callback on the node. And what we wanted to do then was for each of that node's children, we want to uh, do depth first. We want to do the same thing just for each of that node's children. So um, we would here do uh, node dot children, and we'll do a for each here. And for each of those children, for each child, what do we want to do? Well, we just want to call depth first with that child and the callback. So we'll just do a depth first with the child and the callback. And this way, we will go down and then back up and then down and then back up, executing a callback um, as we go through the entirety of the tree. And these seem like two pretty solid approaches, and I think we're ready to start coding now. Okay, so let's code out those tree traversal methods. To start, I wrote this file here, um, which one has a beautiful ASCII of the tree we were looking at earlier. I wrote a function that creates a node. All it does is take in a value, save that value as a, as a value property, and have a children property that's uh, going to be an array. Here, I initialize a whole bunch of nodes, the same ones from the tree we were looking at earlier and I push in the children where appropriate. 
I also build um, what's going to be our callback that we'll use for testing. All it does is take in a node and log that node's value. And finally, I export my root node of this tree, A, and the logger function. So let's take a look at breadth first. Now, in breadth first, we're going to go out before we go down. Um, so for this particular tree, we should get things in alphabetical order because of how it's structured. So we'll have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and so on. So let's code uh, const breadth first. It's going to be a function which takes in a node and a callback. All right. Now, on the whiteboard, we said that this would be a good place to be using a queue. Um, so we'll say const queue is the node in an array. And what we're going to do is um, take a node out of the queue, execute the callback on that node, and then finally push in um, that node's children into the queue. And we'll keep doing this um, while that queue is still there. So we'll do a while loop while, um, while the queue has a length. We'll take a current node, and that will just be our queue uh, with a shift. We'll execute the callback on this current node. And then lastly, we will push in all of the current node's children to the queue. So we'll use a queue.push, and we can use this nice spread syntax here for the current node children. And that should do exactly what we want. Uh, let's test it. I'm just going to call breadth first um, with A and with our uh, logger function. And then I'll run this file in node. So we'll do node breadth first JS. And again, we should expect everything to be in alphabetical order. And that's exactly what we're getting. Perfect. Let's take a look now at doing one of these depth firsts. And we'll do depth first pre order first. So depth first pre order, um, we should be looking through the tree like this. We'll do A, then B, then E, then K, then L. So we're going down, and as we're going down, we're executing the callback. So let's start writing that. We'll do const uh, depth first preorder. Again, just the function, which is going to take a node and a callback. And what do we do here? Well, we said right away we execute the callback on the node. So we'll do callback on the node. And then we're going to go through each of that node's children and recursively call depth first pre order. So we're going to go through the children, um, execute the callback, and then keep going through um, until we can't anymore. So we'll say a node.children, which is an array, so we can use the for each method. And for each of those children, for each child, we're just going to call depth first preorder on that child and make sure we pass in the callback. All right, let's test that out. We'll call depth first preorder with our node A and with the callback logger and then run this in node. So we have um, node depth first preorder. We get A, B, E, K, L, C, F. Is that what we expect? A, B, E, K, L, C, F. So we're going down the tree, and as we're going down, we execute the callback. Perfect. So what's this final function here, uh, depth first post order? So depth first post order, we're going to go down the tree, and until we get to the bottom, or when we get to the bottom, then we'll execute the callback. So what I mean by that is, in for the same tree we've been using, we should get the order K L E B F G M. So that means we start at the top, go down, go down, go down. We're at the bottom now. Execute K. Same thing here. We're at the bottom L E B C. Um, so K L E B F G M. So K L E B, then we go down F G, down to the bottom M. So let's try writing that. And it's actually going to be very similar to depth first pre order. In fact, it's so similar, I'm going to uh, actually copy this code over into the other file. And I'm just going to rename it from depth first pre order 
to depth first post order. And really, all I need to do is change where I'm in the function I'm executing this callback. So instead of doing it at the beginning, I'm actually just going to bring it down to the end. And I think that should be good. Let's test it out. Again, we're going to get K, L, E, B, F, G, M in the remainder. So we'll call node depth first post order. Again, we get K, L, E, B, F, G, M with the, the remainder of M in that order as well. So that's how I would write these three tree traversal methods. I hope this helps you.